Okay, so you're gonna put mayo on the top and the bottom, corner to corner, and mustard only on the top, corner to corner. And then we're gonna cut our avocado. Today we're making a fat boy special on squaw. When you cut the avocado, you're gonna to wanna to stick your knife in the avocado and then turn the avocado, not your knife. To open the avocado, you're gonna put pressure, you're gonna push it together and then just twist and it should open up. And then you have two halves. You're gonna only use a quarter of an avocado on a sandwich, so you're gonna to wanna to cut it again in half. Put one quarter back and use the other quarter. The easiest way to peel back the avocado when it's cooperative is just to push the green side face down Push the avocado down while you pull back the skin, and then it should come off nicely, like that. And then we're gonna wanna slice our avocado. So I'm right-handed, so I'm cutting with my right, and I'm holding the avocado with my left. You'll notice what I'm doing with my hands, I kinda have my fingers bent over, holding the avocado in place with my little thumb here too. And I'm just gonna slice the avocado. You can usually get six to eight slices out of an avocado, depending on the size. So this quarter is a little smaller, so we're getting a, only probably like five or six slices out of it. But the main goal is to make sure that you spread the avocado evenly across the sandwich so that every bite tastes the same. So this is a Fat Boy Special, which comes with turkey, ham, and roast beef. So you'll see here I have my meat. I took it out of the paper. When you take it out of the paper, it's pretty flat. So we need to bring it back to life. We call this fluffing. So when we fluff, we're just gonna break it apart a little bit. You don't want to shred it, but you just want to break it apart and fluff it up so that it's not a flat piece of meat and that when people look at their sandwich, once we cut it in half, it looks like a full sandwich. And then you're just going to want to put it in. You'll notice when I fluff the meat, I fluffed it in the shape of the bread. So it's more like a square because it's a sliced bread. If it were a roll, it would be the long way. Then I'm going to grab my two slices of Swiss cheese, set them side by side like that. And then I'm going to grab some bacon. I'm going to put three slices of bacon just straight across the sandwich. Like so. And then we can start putting the veggies on. So we're going to start with our flats first. We're going to do tomato. So two slices of tomato side by side. Now we're going to get some cucumber. We're going to do six slices of cucumber, three on the top and three on the bottom. This cucumber is not the prettiest, so I'm going to switch it out and put a nicer one. Remember, when we make our sandwiches, we're going to make them as if we're making them for ourselves. So if you wouldn't eat it, don't put it on the sandwich. Then I'm going to get my pickles, also one of the flat veggies. And just like the cucumbers, I'm going to put three across the top and three across the bottom, like so. And next would be the onion. So I'm gonna grab some onions, break them in half with my hands so that when someone takes a bite into the sandwich, you don't get a whole ring of onion that comes out, you just get a little piece. So now I have all my flats down, now I'm gonna go and do my rounds. So I'm gonna get some pepperoncinis, spread them across. I'm gonna get some banana peppers, also spread them across like so. And then I'm gonna get some jalapenos. You don't wanna use that, throw that out. Only gonna use the best slices, like so. And then get some black olives. Black olives have feet, so you wanna make sure you're getting them kind of situated within all the other veggies so they don't fall off. If they fall off a little bit, it's okay. But you'll notice in my area, everything's on the sandwich, not on the board. So that's your goal is to have all your on the sandwich. And then I'm going to get some sprouts. I'm going to open them up a little bit and spread them across. The key when you're making the sandwiches is you don't want everything to be in the middle. You want it to be spread so that if they take a bite, take the first bite and last bite are all the same. Then I'm going to grab some lettuce, a handful of lettuce, and spread it just like that as well. And then last but not least, we're going to put some salt, pepper, oil, vinegar. So I have my salt and pepper shaker. Put a good amount over the top my oil vinegar. You always have to mix this. Mix it, you put your finger at the tip so that it doesn't come out, and then you just shake it really, really well. And then we're gonna drizzle it over. So this customer wants light oil vinegar, so I'm only gonna put that. But if they wanted regular, I'd put double that amount. And then we're gonna close it up. To close it up, you put the top piece over the sandwich. And then you 
you're going to get the toothpicks. One on the right corner, the other on the left. And then we're going to cut it in half diagonally, corner to corner. You'll notice my hand is never near the knife, so we're keeping um, good proper knife skills and safety. So the knife is going to go down. I'm going to put my hand over the knife, holding the sandwich in place, and then cutting it straight down. Don't be afraid to be aggressive when you're cutting it in half. That's the only way you're going to get a clean cut. And then last but not least, you're going to box it up. So you're going to take your right side of the sandwich and place it parallel to the left side of the box. And then get the left side of the sandwich and place it parallel to the right side of the sandwich in the box. And then the last step is to put the macaroni or potato salad on a pickle. This customer wants a macaroni salad, so I'm going to stick it in the corner. Grab my pickle spear, also stick it in the corner. And my fork. And we are done. Should look like this.